Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, and this is a discussion about the limbic response. Now, the limbic response is important because we all have it. We deal with it on a moment-by-moment -moment basis, and it's part of our human nature and part of our life. But uh, it doesn't always serve us. Sometimes you want to be in limbic mode, sometimes you do not. So it, if you can recognize you know, what it is, how to deal with it, you can, you can uh, make better decisions, and your life can be a little bit smoother. Maybe, uh, maybe not so destructive. So, what is a limbic response? Limbic response is that part of our brain that's an all or none brain. You know, it's yes or no, black or white. Now, we have another part of our brain, the neocortex, that understands very much the complexities of life. And, you know, it can, it can find the, the subtle differences between a couple of different arguments, for example. But, the limbic brain, it just say it's yes or no, black or white. Now it's important to understand that the limbic zone is a reactive part of our brain. It's not a learning center. You know, so it doesn't really learn. It just reacts. And so if you can learn to avoid that uh, in certain situations where you really do need to be in the logic and reason zone, then, then things are going to go better for you. So how do you recognize it? Well, let's look at a couple of words that people tend to use. People in the limbic response tend to use absolute words, such as always, never, whole world, um, nobody, everybody, that kind of thing. So, when you find yourself using those words, or you, know, you see somebody around you, then you know that you're dealing with a limbic situation. So, here's some, uh, some of my favorite examples of, of things that you might hear. I never loved you. So, obviously, a person in the limbic mode is going to be thinking, uh, gee, it's either I always love this person or I never love them. So, let's choose never. You know, because you only have two choices there. It wasn't like, well, you know, I really loved you at one time, but not so much anymore. You know, things have changed. That's the, that's the neocortex talking. But the limbic center says it's got to be, it's got to be either always or never. Um, some other examples might be, um, everybody believes that, da 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 da, fill in the blank, or one of my favorites is when politicians say, uh, Americans want, again, fill in the blank, and again, those are, those are really limbic statements, because, um, again, the, the truth is always more complex than that. Um, one, of, uh, one thing that popped up after 9-11 was, you either support the president or you support the terrorist. So again, limbic response, it's got to be one or the other. There's no, uh, no reason, no room for anything else. Um, real pilots fly tail draggers. So, obviously the logic and reason part of our brain says, gee, there are all kinds of pilots. There's balloon pilots, there's glider pilots, there's uh, uh, jet pilots, you know, there's all kinds of pilots. So, uh, obviously saying that real pilots fly tail draggers is an Olympic response. Uh, another one similar, only medical doctors are real doctors. So, and again, logic and reason part of our brain says, gee, I think that uh, learning is not limited to the medical profession. You know, maybe other people are capable of learning and offering a contribution to uh, our healthcare picture as well. So again, uh, limbic, type, uh, limbic type statement. And one thing that we're struggling with in this country right now, you're either gay or straight. Now, human sexuality, again, is not just gay, straight. You know, it's uh, it's more complex than that, and and um, as a group, we're having trouble with that one. Um, so, if you still don't get the idea, want some more examples? Well, I'll switch on talk radio for about ten or fifteen minutes, and I think you'll understand what I'm talking about. In fact, that brings up another point that a network or two has figured out how to use a rampant uh, use of um, a rampant. Uh, limbic uh, phraseology to activate the limbic brains of their listeners and so by doing that logic and reason you know gets uh, moved to the back shelf and of course you know once you're swept along that dialogue uh, problem solving becomes ever more difficult because you know we go to the all or none deal so if you think it's a good idea to make most of your decisions when you're in the limbic mode then this video is not for you but if you think that that maybe it would be better to learn how to switch on your logic and reason, then, then how do you do that? 
Well, the first thing is just to understand that it exists. Fortunately, it's not that hard. You know, it's just once you recognize this guy, it's, it's pretty simple to uh, switch gears and uh, switch that logic and reason back on. And, you know, it just takes a little practice, but you can do it. So watch your own words. Watch when you're using always and never. But sometimes it's more subtle than that. So that's why, I'm, you know, what I've done is I've educated the people around me, you know, you know my wife, my kids, and if I'm in a limbic mode, they're going to spot it before I do. You know, because I, I, for me to spot it, it's going to get pretty bad. But uh, they'll, they'll spot it at the first signs, and they'll say, you know, you're, you're limbic. And, of course, my first response to that is, well, no, I'm not. Because, according to my thinking, I'm making perfect sense. But then I stop and I think, okay, all right, I see where I'm limbic. You know, I get it. But, so... You can catch yourself doing this, but it's a lot more, it's a lot safer really to, to show this video to friends and, you know, people you trust and say, remind me when I'm limbic. You know, and if I'm trying to uh, make a decision, I should try not to be in limbic mode. And just remember, life is fairly complex and, you know, rarely are things so simple. And my favorite metaphor for the truth is light. And it turns out that, um, I don't know, about 60 years ago, um, scientists were trying to figure out whether light was a particle or a wave. And the, the guys who were working on the particle theory had ample evidence. They had thousands of studies that proved that light, light, light is really a particle. And the problem is that these concepts were uh, mutually exclusive. And then the wave guys had all this evidence that says, no, we can prove that it's a wave. So you guys would have, you, the particle guys have to be wrong. Well, it turns out they're both right. That, part of, that light is both a particle and a wave, even though these concepts, again, are mutually exclusive. So that's just the way the universe is. You know, you can, it can hold two, two competing concepts at the same time, creation and evolution. You know, it can hold those at the same time. Not a problem. Now, our brain doesn't have any, um, it has a lot of trouble with that. But the universe doesn't. So anyway, life is complex. Um, we need our logic and reason to, to understand it, and the limbic brain is not going to help us with that. So, anyway, that's uh, my take on the limbic response. Hopefully that was helpful.